For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a f- Plans to give you hope and a f- Plans to give you hope and a f- For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Plans to give you hope and a future. Jeremiah 29, 11. In my last life update video, I talked about my regrets. And one of my biggest regrets was putting Bible verses in my videos. Not because I'm ashamed of it, no. In fact, it's been my way for all these years of letting God know I'm grateful for everything he's done in my life. Just like I'd pay 10% of my money back to his house, I'd give 10% of my brand back in a creative but subtle way. A simple Bible verse in the beginning of every video, whether it got 1,000 or 1 million views, I'd give God my thanks for this gift. This gift that changed my life forever. The gift to share my favorite things from hair, to makeup, to fashion, to my personality, to my story. Like other lifestyle influencers who are Christian, I could have just kept my spiritual life more private. But for me, I was raised giving testimonies because sharing your testimony inspires others of what God is capable of. Testimonies remind people that God is still answering prayers and working miracles. Everything people could like about me or my life, I wanted to remind them that it's not my efforts alone, but God's grace towards me, that I'm forever grateful to be here doing this. I tell God thank you for each upload by including a Bible verse. But throughout the years, I became afraid. I observed that my choice to do this slowly had its repercussions. It projected ideas in people's minds, ideas that would welcome them into my personal walk with God. As an influencer, you're already so vulnerable putting yourself out into the world. It's important to protect yourself and your surroundings. You share everything with your followers except the things you wouldn't want to be exploited. And I realized maybe too late with a simple Bible verse, I gave people who would want to an open avenue and the tools to attack me where I'm most vulnerable, and that's my journey with God. Like all of you, my relationship and walk with God is very personal. I've never in all my years on YouTube discussed my journey with God. The only time I've mentioned God on my platform was in giving him thanks. Everything else concerning my journey has been kept safely between me and him a private but not secret relationship. I think people forget I was 17 years old when I first went viral on YouTube. So most of what's changed about me is mainly from being a legal adult and no longer a growing minor. I'm not any better than the Christian beside me because I don't know their story. I don't know their struggles. I don't know who they are behind closed doors. And regardless of the way they may look, I don't know what God thinks of them. I don't judge other people's sins or compare them to my own. I'm too occupied working on myself. So it constantly makes me angry when people do everything you guys have just seen happen to me. I can admit I'm a bad influence and I'm fake because as much as I claim I'm a Christian, I'm too transparent about the imperfections of my lifestyle and mindset. I don't hide it. You can clearly see the areas where I need to improve, and I should not be showing that. As a Christian example with a huge platform, I'm supposed to be Jesus. But all this time I've been being Sophia. Let me stop being sarcastic for I get dragged again, child. Kai. It's no secret that my biggest struggle here was pettiness. Ooh, I can be petty. And unlike me, I can see how many people have never gotten angry in their life, never get offended, never use sarcasm, never react, never say, oh my God, throwing his name in vain. 
You guys are the angels who have fallen from heaven for real. But as for me, I can still woes you slap to this day. And God knows that about me. Only he can change that. I'm also glad he has a sense of humor because now I see where I get it from. Seriously though, my goal to fight back the Christians attacking me made me lose sight of my most important goal here. I remember one time Jesus got so angry, lashed out, and started literally whooping people's gnashes at church because of how irritating and frustrating people can be. It's hard not to be provoked when everyone's attacking you. The ones throwing the stones can't even take the blows, but I'm taking these blows. I can't lose sight of my calling, which is for people like me who look like me and act the way I act to know they are loved by God. And there's a place for them here to get closer and hopefully grow deeper. That's what my brand has always been for. There's only one way to be a Christian, guys, and that is to be like Christ. Your walk in this life is personal, and this race is ran alone. In the end, God judges by himself. Nobody else. When I am with those who are weak, I share their weaknesses, for I want to bring the weak to Christ. Yes, I try to find common ground with everyone, doing everything I can. I do everything to spread the good news and share in its blessings. 1 Corinthians 9, 22 and 23. So many times I've regretted branding myself like this and being so honest with my personality, but I know in my heart it's what God created me to do. There's a specific type of person he created me to relate to so that they can know him and be closer to him. But this gets so hard. But the temptations in your life are no different from what others experience. And God is faithful. He will not allow the temptation to be more than you can stand. When you are tempted, he will show you a way out so that you can endure. 1 Corinthians 10, 13. Shout out to my mom for sending me this verse. Thank you, God, for teaching me to endure. Thank you for my platform and thank you for my journey. Thank you for my subscribers who have shown me continuous support throughout this. Seriously, and always, thank you, God. with this guys as good as it stains your lips it can also stain your hands and clothes this is the satchu lip liner in the color hazel i'll link it down below for you guys my forehead looks big <laughs> mm, there we go look 
at that. It's so natural. My favorite lip gloss. And this is in the color Fussy. Okay, if everything I said in the beginning of this video went over your head, I'm not sure what to say again. <laughs> Actually, I always have something to say. I can say that my actions in this situation may have been sloppy, but my goal was accomplished. The hickey hacky witches have gone. <laughs> if I twerk now, they would have canceled you. Thank God my body is still stiff. If you're new to my channel, I'm so glad to have you. And if you've been a loyal subscriber, I'm so blessed to have your support, man. All I want from the bottom of my heart is that when guys and girls see me, they see that God loves you the way you are. You don't have to be a poser or impersonate a reverend. You can be you. Of course, there's always room for improvement, but it's no one's place to improve you themselves or to tell you that God disapproves of you. Your father, he's obsessed with you. It's people that will point out a speck in your eye when they have a whole log in theirs. It's human nature. And you have no idea who people are off the internet and when no one is watching. So when it comes to you and God, you have to trust your process. I don't care what anyone says. Nobody knows your relationship with God, nor are they entitled to define it for you. If you're trying to be closer to God, you're gonna need people in your life who can correct you, advise you, and keep you accountable with your goals. But be careful who you listen to and don't let everyone pray over you. Trust God alone to direct your journey. And as long as he knows you have a desire to be closer to him, he's going to make a way for you and your life will change. And all Christians stumble and fall on a daily. It's only people that will judge you harder than God do. <laughs> Personally for me, my favorite people in the Bible were popularly known for some interesting sins and crazy personality traits. If you're ever struggling to know what's right and wrong, all the answers are in the Bible, like every relatable situation. It's an ancient book, but I'm an influencer in 2023. And look how 1 Corinthians chapter 9 related to my situation so perfectly. I felt so seen. Guys, people accuse me of doing something that could divide Christians. But in my opinion, Christians already divided. Be for real. Y'all are out here shoving Bible verses and violently using God to drag people. Who assigned you leader of Christian immigration, I beg? Defending the faith, looking like Goliath. Thank God my mental health is strong. This is the reason some people refuse to go to church or are too ashamed to claim they are Christian or talk to others about God. Cause look what happens when you don't look the part or when you come out and tell the truth about your flaws. Does keeping a sin secret and private make it not a sin anymore? And does being honest about a sin make you the devil? Don't answer that, I don't care. I'm not a preacher, okay? And I'm not about to become one to be proving my faith to people. I'm gonna let God do his job and I'm gonna sit down and continue to be a fine babe, okay? This is a new era, not just for me, but for a lot of people. I did what I did and if you don't like it, come up on each y'all. If you want to pray for someone, must you announce it over and over? Go and pray and leave me alone. <laughs> I'm glad all this happened though, for real. And although it was very hard not to behave badly even further because God knows I did crazy bad. This has just shown me why I need to continue to do what I'm doing and who it's for and who it's not for. Because the girls that get it, Get it and the ones that don't don't coming out of my faha is still so painful and I'm still self-massaging. Everything just hurts and feels stupid. I'm at a point in my healing to where I can take my fall off a few hours a day. The goal for me though, because I wanna be super snatched, is to never take it off. But I'm in Tulum, so. Ay, 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 ay. Caramba. I have like a bunch of rashes, bumps, marks from just being in the faha. So yeah, it sucks. All this you're seeing move is fluid, which is still coming out. My tummy was literally black and red yesterday. At least it looks more like flesh today, Abby. It'll get better. Ooh. This morning I was super swollen, like 
The swelling has never been this bad, but obviously, if you get on a flight after surgery for the first couple of months, you're gonna be busting like a pinata for like a few days. But I self-massaged. I'm still getting used to my new body, like, and it's still changing at this rate. It's crazy how much can change. <laughs> Guys, how cute is this cover up? I need more oil on my legs. Bio oil is expensive though, so when I'm not using bio oil, I'm using this Aveeno oil <laughs> mist, whatever, body oil mist. I only use bio oil in the areas where I'm still healing so I can heal better. I use the Aveeno all over the rest of my body though. I'm still getting to know my new body and how it's healing, where and why. I didn't realize my doctor lipoed my thigh until Carolina told me, yeah, that's definitely lipo. So she gave me a cupping device that looks like this and it hurts like hell, at least to me. And she gave it to me, Oy! and she gave it to me to help uh, with scar tissue. Uh, 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 uh. Come on, get off, get off me. Cause I'm thinking like, how do I have scar tissue in my leg? And she's like, oh, he liboed right there. I had no idea. Now my leg gonna be all swollen and red. No, it's not too bad. Golly, bro. Mm. Uh, I'll just leave it to them to do it. Oh, they usually do it for me at my massage appointments. I cannot. I'm even supposed to be lying down while I do it. I just don't want to. It's 11 a.m. in the morning. It's too early for that nonsense. <laughs> I'll do it in the evening. It hurts so bad. Moving on like nothing happened. I'm going to put the cornrows on this side. Oh, okay. I haven't worn braids since I was like four years old. <laughs> Ask my mama. Mommy, if you're watching this, you know. I know my mom is watching this. Alrighty, let's go. How could I forget the most important thing? Sunscreen. I need to reapply. Oh. I need to reapply to my face and apply so much on my body. Cause hell no. I love super goop and Tula for us melanin queens. This is my favorite way to apply sunscreen cause then I don't get annoyed. Ah, it's cold. <gasps> Sorry, it's just cold. Yee. I'll be damned. <laughs> it's just weird doing it on camera. All right, cool. Cool. It's kind of weird because I'm in this private villa. Nobody's here except for the people that work here. And like, I think the people that live here, and it's not a lot of people either. Mm, put on this hand. I don't, there's not really anybody to be showing off for. There's not even anyone to see this look. I'm just looking cute for myself. I wanna start wearing more necklaces. I packed a necklace. Don't really, let me just look this simple. Cause I feel like there's no need in being too extra. You don't care. Sometimes I make the new sense, it's just urgent. Trying to make some simple change, got me a war in my mind. Vitamins. If you had surgery, get this. If you're healing from surgery, get this. It's done amazing things for my healing. Tylenol, because everything hurts. Zinc. Zinc, because zinc is super important. I'm not sure why. I just know. 
and my personal multivitamin from Kara to 25. <laughs> Taking your vitamins and supplements is so necessary as you get older. I'm about to go order my breakfast. I'll be right back. Kiwi pineapple, blueberries, granola, and Greek yogurt. Yes, that sounds correct. Okay. Thank you. How did I do this this morning? God forbid. Hey, jeez. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. It is so cold. I need to get in. Okay, it's balancing well. Mind you, I sprayed off all around this basket so that bugs can stay away. Quick contents and the night beats. Thank God I'm not making any boyfriend wait for me or any friend. They've been so annoyed. <laughs> That's your contents now. You think I care about eating breakfast in the pool? It's contents. Last one before I give up. Oh, this is gonna be it. This is gonna be it. See why it's good not to give up? <laughs> That's the one. That's the one. Yo, this is busting. That was some going inside though. It's not giving, it's cold. I don't like eating when I'm cold. <laughs> what is this now? <laughs> You'll be seeing people do things on social media who think it's sweet and it's not giving at all, okay? At least not for me. You see, this makes more sense. Let me eat it where I'm not freezing. I was so uncomfortable. Okay, so I've been in Tulum now for a few days. Today is actually Christmas Day. I'm spending Christmas out here alone. My family is in Nigeria. Obviously, I cannot go this year. And with all the stuff that was going on on social media, it doesn't matter how strong you are. It's not easy being bullied. <laughs> I don't care what excuse people have or what they call it. It was bad. So I decided, so I decided to come out here. Best decision I made. Like I'm having such a wonderful day. It doesn't really feel like a traditional Christmas, but this is my way of celebrating Jesus' birthday. I did get myself a little Christmas gift though. I'm so happy about it. I was supposed to open it after this trip, but I opened it for my last picture. If you can guess what it is. <laughs> I deserve to treat myself. I deserve to you know, give to myself what I'm always easily giving to others. I need a napkin. I'm that friend that will care for you and spoil you when you're going through something. And I figure I never really do that for myself. So I'm going to come back to Houston renewed, ignore all the bullying. So I'm still being bullied. It's been, I really thought it was dying down, but mm -mm. I forever have new haters from the situation. Oh, my friend is calling. <clears throat> hey, can I call you back in five minutes? Damn, hold on. I'm sorry. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Okay, call me back. Yeah, I'll call you back in five minutes. You look so pretty. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Uh, I get so much anxiety with creating now because... Actually, I'm going to create whatever I want. But I'm just saying, before I didn't really have that much anxiety. And now I do. I feel like people are paying too much attention to everything I do. And I'm really not the kind of best you want to pay attention to. Knowing me is not worth it because... I don't even be overthinking things that I do. When I wanna do something, I just do it. You get what I mean? Like, I don't really think about stuff too much. In fact, when my friends want advice and they wanna be unhinged and they don't wanna to think too much about it, they call me. Oops, they know I'm not the type to stress over things or overthink things. And it's like, with a platform, people are like this. You get what I mean? Like, they're just looking into every small thing I do. If I wipe my nose, it's a problem. If I told my head, it's problem. Like, so moving forward from this trip, I know that hate isn't an increase. I know, but I can't control people. 
I can't make anyone do anything, nor do I want to. I've never been that person. I've always minded my business, so it's benefited me a lot in my life to mind my business. So um, I'll just ignore it, focus on the positive, because I know people genuinely enjoy my content and my platform. Giving up is never in the conversation. <laughs> if I have to come to Mexico 20 times, I'll be coming. As they're blowing me here, I'll be going there. As they're blowing me, I'll be going there. You understand? I'll just continue to change my hair color and travel. 2024, nobody's stressing me out. I hate talking while eating, but I actually have to check out. I'm going to another condo for the rest of my trip. Because of my surgery, I can't do excursions or anything crazy. I can only eat, which I've been doing. <laughs> so my way of entertaining myself is just staying at different villas. And this property is actually beautiful and it's private. It's not a resort or anything. I feel like I'm the only one here with the people working here, but I've thoroughly enjoyed it. Like just picture, arriving in Mexico to this jungle of a villa. You're literally in the jungle. It's so luxurious and beautiful. You're hearing all the sounds of nature. You get to your place and it's perfect to fit four, but it's just you or your loved one. I wish I came with somebody, but it's stunning and relaxing. The vibes are just right. As soon as I got here, I said, oh no, this night, I have to do my hair. This hairstyle would be perfect for this trip. So that's what I did. I quickly installed this wig and it's from Olaide Hair. The braids have been given, Abby. Yeah, it's not braids. I didn't get my hair braided. It's just a wig from Olaide Hair on Instagram. I'll tag them below for you guys. But the install was popping and giving. My lady, I don't fall in love with you. My sweetie, you and I forever. And then I just took myself on a little solo date. They have restaurants on this property and different amenities for you to check out. The food here is superb. I recommend everything that I ate. The surf and turf plate. It was filet mignon with mashed potatoes and another prawns. One day for breakfast, I had the Poseidon prawns, which are these like big prawns or shrimp in this yummy green sauce. Some egg dish on the side. I didn't really get it for flavor. I got it for content because it was gorgeous. That was probably the healthiest thing I ate while I was here. Otherwise, I added a smoothie to every meal. Their energy shakes were good. Of course, no alcohol, but I would have loved to try their cocktails. But my utmost favorite meal at Siwa that I recommend for you guys to try was the shrimp burger. It had caramelized onions, peppers, tomato, lettuce, this yummy sauce, and the shrimp patty was wrapped in bacon. Guys, I'm not even a bacon lover, but if you are, you're gonna lose your mind. This is the best seafood burger I've ever had in my life. It was yummy. Aside from the food, I'm sure in peak season, you would love to go down to their underground cenote. It's not a real cenote, but it's just a gorgeous underground bar with areas for you to mingle. Obviously, I was by myself, so uh, I got out of there. <laughs> As you can see, I've been enjoying myself and my privacy and my relaxation. I've had a great time. I love this property at Siwa and I highly recommend it if you're solo traveling or just getting a getaway with a loved one um, in Mexico. I'm actually leaving today to another property in Tulum. Basically because I booked this so last minute, like literally booked it the day I flew, someone else is checking in. So I had to go somewhere else. Thankfully his other property was open and he was able to communicate with me and sort it out. I need to get dry and dressed and I'll see you guys later. Yo, I changed so fast. Oh my gosh, being out of your faha, <laughs> prepared to pay six months to a year is the healing time. And I even think they're lying. I even think it's longer than that. They will lie oh, because if they tell you the truth, you won't do it. But yeah, the faha is on. Ooh, the pain of putting it back on. Do you get, she, it took out all my energy, honestly. <laughs> my body be looking crazy. <laughs> My body looks so crazy when I have it on. Damn it, bugs are getting in there. No, leave my yogurt alone. Dang. I'd be forgetting I'm in the jungle. If I used glue, this would have been so much better. 
because like the humidity and the water and all that stuff but it's still trying it's still trying it's still trying it's just so heavy you know I hate the way my bum bum looks in a faha. While I'm waiting for these people, let me just you. So someone DM me on Instagram and they had a question and I had an amazing answer. So I just thought I should share it with y'all because it could help somebody. Who. Basically, she was like, she's been bullied her whole life. Elementary, middle school, high school, just bullied by people. Even at her big age now, she still finds people showing her animosity or secret hatred or just making her feel really isolated in her life and she don't know how to deal with it. How do I deal with bullying so well? <laughs> I feel like when you understand this, your life gets easier. First of all, with God on your side, nobody can do you anything. Anybody that doesn't like you is of no consequence. When you have favor on your life, you are bound to have haters. And let me tell you a secret about haters. They do not hate you. They do not hate you. They love you. In fact, they even love you more than the people that love you. Let me give you an example. I hate roaches. At 25 years old, roaches can still make me jump out of my skin. So in my life, I cannot have roaches anywhere near me. If there's a roach around me, I'm in the wrong place. But make it make sense how people can claim to hate you. And when you turn this way, they're here. When you turn this way, they're here. They're the first person to watch you. They're the first person to know your business. They're the first person to have an opinion on everything you do. It's a fan, girl. It's your biggest supporter. In fact, they don't hate you. They hate how much they love you. And once you realize that, that they have a sickness and you cannot do anything to help them, you just have to ignore them, Jerry. And you cannot take them seriously. The only advice, criticism, critique I accept is from people that I look up to and I love. Any other word is like a fly, just that's a real fly. <laughs> People that actually hate you, they'll stay away from you like I stay away from roaches. So if they're always on your case, they love you. <laughs> they love you. Haters love you in secret. That's why they can't stay away. I love anything POT sport. I'll link it down below in the description box so you can get yourself all these links in the description box. I hope I can do it on time. Though. Let me spray off. These bugs are biting. Oh my God, I have like... I know these bugs did not bite me like this. <sighs> Does it make sense to spray off after the fact? I'm gonna be going. I'll see you guys at the next place. Y'all, why did I just suffer? If you hear that noise, I have the AC blowing in here because it's it's hot and humid and I need to cool down. I was stuck in the rain for some hours. It was my fault because I didn't bring enough cash to Mexico. I ran out of cash and only like one ATM tonight could take my Visa debit card. Other ones were asking me for a 12 digit withdrawal code. I have no idea what that is. Googled it, didn't find any answers. So I was just in a taxi going up and down this Mexico for hours. See how it's pitch black outside. What's crazy is I actually wanted to make up, get dressed, go somewhere. All the hours I could have spent getting ready. Now my feet are just soaked in mud and rain. I'm about to take a quick shower. I don't even feel like vlogging right now, to be honest with you, I'm so upset. My feet are sore, my body's sore. Fun fact, I was supposed to leave Mexico today, but I just didn't want to. Now I'm in the streets of Tulum in the rain. <laughs> but at least I'm in this cozy condo. What time is it, like nine? It's giving go to bed and just get ready for my flight tomorrow. I'm gonna do my makeup and take pictures because I what I came to Tulum, I didn't get proper picture. Everything I'm posting is no makeup, chilling, chilling, chilling. Let me at least do one sleigh. Let me go shower and beat my face. I feel so good after that shower, y'all. I don't think I've even properly shown y'all my nails this whole vlog. There's like a natural pink with like a chrome on top, but it gives it this like rose gold. In certain lightings, it looks like gray. In certain lightings, it looks pink and orange. Now that I'm all showered and feeling good, I'm about to do a quick beat. It's not like a real beat. Honestly, this host ate because in this place and the last place, there's so many things that you would need and you wouldn't even think you would need, but I haven't needed anything and he's been so kind and responsive. It's Christmas day and I've tried not to bother him about stuff, but I'd be asking him questions and he'd be responding so fast and he got everything I need in these units. So if you're watching this right now, thank you so much for being so kind and attentive and just on it and so helpful. I have to give you your flowers. You made my Christmas so special and I really appreciate you. This is a half heart. <laughs> 
Do you see this base before I start my face? My skincare routine has been eating. Sorry, I have gum in my mouth. I'm definitely gonna share with you guys because, huh? But yeah, I don't feel like doing too much with my makeup. Just a quick, you know, 10 minutes, 15 minutes maybe. Let's go. I'm pulling through. <laughs> I'm with the, my heart up. Gonna be thunder. Six, six, six. Ooh. Six, 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 six. I channel my inner Rihanna Vogue. I did more highlight than usual. See how I'm just glistening? <laughs> Let me stop respecting my guy. This is annoying. You guys, I do braid. I give you a round of applause because. <laughs> These were real braids. I'll be taking them out right now. So frustrating. I actually love braids on me. I'm so glad I got to try them. I don't think I would actually do them though because to take them out, like imagine taking this out. Number one. And number two, like going to sleep. And then when it grows out, it's not even like cute like that. Brandon Wig has his own headache, but at least I know what it's going to look like when I want it to look like that. Stupid question now, because now I see it on camera, I know what I'm doing. I was either gonna wear this stud or this earring, but I think this one looks better. See, taking the garment off vibe just crash. Like, I'm gonna need an IG break because I can't do anything without this faha on. I can't wear much either without it showing. Let me just go and take these pictures. Hopefully they come out nice. And then I'll get right back into that Faha change. I'll feel good going back to Houston knowing I tried, you know? Not like, oh my God, I went on vacay, didn't even take pics, you know? I'll look back and I'll forget the pain. <laughs> right now it holds, it holds, it holds, it holds. Okay, y'all, I'm back. It's currently 12.30 in the morning. I'm just glad I have a good memory in these braids and I get to share something with my Instagram followers from this trip. I feel like these pictures would have definitely came out better if you know i had help and it wasn't just me and a clicker i'm probably being hard on myself you guys will probably see it and be like ah so yeah these pictures are fine Ooh. maybe because i know how i'm feeling that's what's like getting into my head this my install has tried four or five days i highly doubt it but i'm gonna check and see if a restaurant is open at 1 a.m. in the morning, most likely not. By the time I put back on my faha, wash out this makeup. That's like, how many hours? He <laughs> called. It's giving water burger at 2 a.m., but Tulum, Mexico version. <laughs> I'm so hungry. All the restaurants are closed, of course, so. Hamburg gay sauce it is. <laughs> the way that driver taxed me. What they charged me to go from the last place to this place, what he charged me to go and get hamburger with a smile on his face, so. All I told them was Feliz Navidad, my dear. Feliz Navidad. That guy scammed me, I didn't even have energy to start haggling. I promise you my Christmas is tomorrow, but I hope you guys had a Merry Christmas. Good night. So I'm heading to the airport today back to Houston, but I have a little time this morning. I wanted to go and swim in their pool because it looks so relaxing. I didn't vlog a lot of this trip, but it was very special to me. Ignore these marks, these are from my Faha. I just took it off. Yes, Faha police, I can be out of it for like an hour or two at least, okay. This swimsuit, I'll link it down below. It's from Sunny Co. Super cute, I'll link it down below. I have like an hour before I have to start heading to the airport and that's even me heading early because I have an evening flight. But you know you have to drive from Tulum to Cancun and then go to the airport in Cancun to go home. I'm still in stage one of healing, but it's already looking so good. I cannot wait to get a massage though because I really need one, especially when I get on this flight again. Hm. Because I had my surgery in Houston, I didn't have to fly anywhere, so it just, never crossed my mind. But yeah, my body is still going through from the flight here and it's about to be on another flight back. So I'm about to just relax by the pool, eat some fruit, and enjoy the rest of my time before I have to head to the airport.
I'm definitely getting a wheelchair. Thank you so much. These drivers got me here two hours early. What am I supposed to be doing for two hours? I don't like being at the airport um, on time. <laughs> I guess this is what getting older feels like, shop. Wheelchair, vitamins, and being on time to the airport. Y'all, the fact that I was joking when I said I'm gonna use wheelchair service, I actually need it. Like, my whole body hurts. <laughs> I can't imagine what I would have done in this airport without it. Mind you, Carlos said he don't mind being on camera, but I just still don't want to show him for privacy reasons. I'm just so glad I did this. If a fine babe like me can wear a private sack and get in this wheelchair when I need it, you two use wheelchair when you need it. Don't be breaking your body just to prove a point. Yeah. Maybe it's just me that has pride and ego. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is that BBL life. Because before you can be fine and slay, you must suffer, you must suffer this. And mind you, he said my gate is very, very, very far. Can you imagine me lugging everything after all of that? <laughs> I would have had a Christmas is over, it's back to work, Sean. Thank you. 